start with this screw here and on the back of your remote there's a small gap you should be able to get a knife edge or a screwdriver in to uh, prise the remote open you'll see down the side of my remote here it's all it comes unclipped all the way around once you've um, completely unclipped the body of your remote it should just come apart like that there's only one screw holding it together so not many tools required as you can see the inside of the remote is not so pleasant it's pretty grimy in there these buttons when I went to take them off of the board behind as you can see they're very sticky I'm not sure what this build up is on the back of these buttons but um, I can imagine it's a large part of why this remote doesn't work we vape in our house so whether it's something to do with that a build up of the vegetable glycerin or something like that I'm not I'm not sure what it is um, but it I'm I'm pretty sure it can't be helping the remote work so even this board's quite sticky to touch around the edges so I'm going to clean the back of the buttons clean all the casing and clean the board I'm cleaning the board um, just using a baby wipe the reason I'm using a baby wipe is just because it's soft and they're, they're you know they're, they're well known to remove tough grime and grease and stuff like that so I've just given it a gentle wipe over these soldering points that I'm showing you here they uh, they're a bit catchy they stick out a bit so if you catch that with your cloth you will break those this is the remote all clean you can see it looks a lot different now um, when we put it back together hopefully all buttons working as they should be